Ethan Evans, who was the punter for Wingate football, has been drafted to the Pittsburgh Maulers in the USFL draft. This is a guy that played for the current college that I am attending, which is Wingate University. Shout out to you, Ethan Evans. This man was an elite punter in all of college football. In fact, by many statistical measurements, Ethan Evans was the best punter in all of Division II football. If he was not first in many categories, well, he was in the top five in punting stats. This man had a cannon for a leg, and he was an elite football player. For the people that do not care for punters, shame on you. Punters are people too, even for this punter. In fact, Ethan Evans is not your typical punter in terms of size. Ethan Evans is six foot four. He's two thirty-five pounds, so he's a pretty big football player. He's not your typical skinny punter out there. He was an elite bench presser and just a flat-out grinder. Not only can he punt the football effectively, he can be an excellent kickoff specialist. Ethan Evans made a lot of touchbacks on kickoffs, and when he did not, his special teams coverage was elite. I know I throw in the word elite a lot, but that is how you describe a player like Ethan Evans. Not only was he an elite football player at the punter position, he made other players on special teams better. Whether it was the kickoff coverage, whether it was the punt team, Whatever it was, he made every player in that special teams unit better. Ethan Evans is going to be a good player for the Pittsburgh Ballers. Football fans in general do not realize what a weapon a punter can be if he is really good for your team. If the punter is good, he can often flip field position during a ball game. Why is that important? That sets up the defense in a better position to succeed. Knowing how Wingate's defense performed, I saw it with my own two eyes. I saw it up close every day in practice and in the games. The elite punting of Ethan Evans certainly helped them out. Of course, a good punter is not needed if the offense is elite. However, I doubt that the Pittsburgh Maulers will have an elite offense. No disrespect to the Pittsburgh Maulers, but their offense is not going to perform at the level of the Kansas City Chiefs. No team can. Ethan Evans is going to have opportunities to show his abilities in the USFL, and I am rooting for him to perform at a high level. I believe that Ethan Evans will be a future NFL punter, as he will be an excellent punter in the USFL. I expect the interest of Ethan Evans to rise up since he has a powerful punting leg. NFL scouts will take notice of that, which means at the bare minimum, he will be on an NFL roster somewhere in training camp. Ethan Evans' work ethic is off the charts and I expect that to still continue. Again, congrats to Ethan Evans for getting himself drafted into the USFL. I couldn't be more proud of him as I expect him to be a high impact player for the Pittsburgh Maulers. By the way guys, his Instagram is at EthanEvans80 so make sure that you guys go ahead and follow his Instagram account if you have not already followed him yet on Instagram. So that is why Ethan Evans making the USFL is a big accomplishment in and of itself. Hopefully, he performs well enough to the point where NFL teams will begin to notice him and get him signed to an NFL roster somewhere. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking. Like the video and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That will be for the at Dustin S. Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin S. Tran and at Sports Guy Talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin S. Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.